Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about my update on the Copper IUD, also known as the Paraguard, and I've had it for three years now. I am no stranger to talking about it online. I actually shared my first week when I first got it, and I did a three-month update, I believe a five-month update, and my last video was a one-year update. And I also talked about how I use it with a menstrual cup. Future me here with a short disclaimer, mom, you do not have to watch this video if you're watching right now. And maybe this video isn't for you if you're under 18. Um, I will be talking about some things that may not be appropriate. Also, this is my own experience, so take it with a grain of salt. Everyone is different. And also, I like to talk about these things on my channel because they are important to me. So without further ado, let's get back to past me. Three years later, I decided to make a full video and talk about my experience because I felt like every single year was kind of different, but I'm now at a point where things are going to be changing. So if you don't have one yet, I hope this helps you. And if you do have one, maybe my experience will shed some light on some things that people do talk about, but I also just want to talk about my experience and hopefully it helps someone out. So if you are new to my channel, if you've never seen my face before, I just want to give you a short backstory. Also, if the lighting changes, I am in front of a window, so I'm going to try and make it consistent, but on with the story. So essentially, before I got the Paragard put in, I was on hormonal birth control. I took Ortho, Tricycline Low, or Trisprintec, that's the generic version. It's a very low dose of birth control. I was on that for nine years, and I had no issues. So then I discovered the non-hormonal options and decided you know what I want something different and I don't want to take a pill every day so I started doing more research my friend had one and I decided to get that going into the doctor really was like hey this is what I want the doctor put it in it was the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my entire life so that is super not fun also I was not on my period so that made it even more painful and three years later, I've decided to take it out. So my appointment is in about four weeks and I'm going while I have my period because I just don't want it to hurt as bad. I still can kind of remember what it felt like and it just was so not great. So I'm going to talk about what the pros are, the cons are, and why I'm getting it taken out because I thought that I would have it for a lot longer to be honest and it's just not the case. So obviously the pros are your hormones are not being affected by your birth control and you don't have to worry about taking a pill or going back to the doctor. Of course, you have to go back for pap smears and things like that, but there was no maintenance and there's very little user error. Now I know it's not 100% effective. I've seen the videos of ladies getting pregnant with the IUD in place and that's still a thing so I knew that but compared to the pros there were so many cons that I went through and I'm here to finally talk about it because it's just been weighing on my chest so here we go so a year in not much was going on I felt pretty okay and then I started getting sciatica pain which is a nerve in your back and it goes all the way down to your foot and I wasn't sure what it was from. You know, it could have been from exercising. I could have injured myself. Um, it usually occurs on one side, and I'm pretty sure it's sciatica pain. I've never been to the doctor, but I've spoken to other women that have had babies and that also exercise. Like, I talk to a lot of people with my job, so I'm pretty sure it's sciatica pain. And it would just get so irritated when I would have my period. And your period with a Paragard is heavier, there's more cramping. On the first day, I would pray that I wasn't at work because it was just so painful. I would just want to like, is it keel over? Is that the word? Like bend over and just like take a breath. And I have a commute to work, so driving was just so not great. Um, just sitting down in a car for a long time when you're crampy is just, really uncomfortable so that was a thing for me then there was a lot of paranoia with intimacy and this is the part that is really sucky like I am married um, my husband and I have been together for a long time and 
we are now like thinking about when we're gonna have kids and all that stuff so when you get it put in a month later you go back to the doctor and you tell them if things don't feel right um, if you're uncomfortable and I told my doctor that I was feeling pain during sex I couldn't feel the IUD you're supposed to check your strings every single month so nothing was poking out of my cervix and there was just a sharp pain and I've gone on Google and I've searched and people talk about it on like blogs and like threads I've seen it out there um, so I knew that it wasn't just me and I know that it's not a one-size-fits-all so I know that maybe my body is just not fit for it also if you're not aware your cervix does move throughout your cycle I have this book called taking charge of your fertility and it's very popular it's like a textbook and it talks all about women's health this book is the definitive guide to natural birth control pregnancy achievement and reproductive health I think every woman on the planet should read this book it just has so much information and we've been fed lies we've been fed lies okay we cannot get pregnant anytime during the month it's not a thing thankfully because I used a menstrual cup I was aware that my cervix moved throughout the month so basically when you use a menstrual cup you have to put your fingers in your vaginal canal and you have to make sure your cervix is in between in the cup so I paid attention I knew that and when I got this book I learned all about when your cervix moves all that kind of stuff so essentially when you have your period when you ovulate are the two times your cervix is lower to let blood out or if you're trying to have a baby to let sperm in and this book just goes in depth into all the things so essentially my libido went down and I had this or still have this paranoia surrounding intimacy which is so sad because this is a time before I have kids where I want to have fun and not think about pain you know because once you have a baby things are less spontaneous so in the back of my mind I was just always paranoid so the next things I want to talk about are things that could be related to copper toxicity and I've seen videos on that I'm not positive if that is what was happening to me but these are some of the symptoms that I experienced so I experienced brain fog um, I need a lot of sleep now like nine ten hours which is unheard of maybe I know I'm getting older but I don't think that that is what it is my anxiety has increased um, I wasn't always super anxious but it just happens way more often now I'm overly emotional like almost everything makes me cry which is so annoying I know that crying is good trust me I love a good cry but songs movies just so many things like talking to people I would just I don't know I know I'm an empath and I definitely feel people's emotions but it has just gone to a level that I'm not okay with and the last thing that I experienced was having very cold feet and yes I live in New York and it gets very cold but there were moments where I was sticking my feet in my sink and running it over hot water because I had to leave the house and no amount of socks or rubbing my feet would warm them up so I ended up having to do that a couple times like during the winter and I was like what is going on and also going to sleep if the bed is cold I have a bed warmer um, but I don't use that all year round because I don't really want to and my feet would just take forever to get warm in the past I would just warm up my feet by putting it on my calf and in, in between like the crease of behind my knee and they would get warm but now it just doesn't work and it takes forever so falling asleep takes so long so those are the reasons why I'm deciding to take it out I just am done dealing with all this stuff. Hopefully everything will go back to normal. I'll be updating you guys on how it goes, taking it out. Hopefully it's not too bad. And I also want to talk about a channel that I've been watching for I think two years now. The channel is called Femhead and the host of it, her name is Victoria and she has done a lot of videos on charting your cycle. She has like her own course and everything and that's why I decided to get this book and this book has really helped and it really does a really good job 
explaining how your cycle works. So now going forward, you might be wondering what birth control will I be going to next? I thought about going on the NuvaRing, but I've never done that. So I'm going to be using a FAM, which is the fertility awareness method, and I will be charting my cycle. I actually have been charting it for two months now. My first time charting my cycle, I used the Kendara app, and that had a free trial, and you got to input a lot of information. It was really customizable, and I think that one is really good for starting off because you get to really pay attention to your body, and this is something you have to do. Um, a lot of people think that it's just taking your temperature, but with that app and this method, you should be paying attention to your cervical fluid, and I am done calling it discharge. I remember for the longest time it was called discharge, which is such a like negative term, but no, it's called cervical fluid and it changes throughout the month if you pay attention to your underwear if you're a lady of course um, it's not always the same and that is because it changes for certain times so this book tells you all that information also check out femhead for more information because she has a really good channel but the app that i've been using recently is natural cycles the app is really simple you just input your temperature and it gives you a red day or a green day and it's just super simple and the only thing i have to do is take my temperature at the same time every single day around the same time and you need at least three hours of sleep before you take your temperature there have been days where I've forgotten but no more than one day I'm very consistent and I think that I can do it and paired with fam of course you have to use a barrier method if you're going to have sex on a red day so that puts the responsibility on not only myself but onto my husband as well and i'm so happy that this is now a two-person thing and we can just go forward and our sex life will change honestly this is like the main reason why i'm doing this because everything else was like eh but the intimacy part is really a big part of it and it's just so annoying and i'm just so done with it so that is why i'm taking it out and of course everything else hopefully will improve for instance i just don't understand like i'll have coffee and go to work and i'll still feel kind of weird sometimes and this morning i actually went to the gym and i got back from the gym and normally the gym gives me energy at least in the past when i think about going to the gym i feel great for the rest of the day but for that couple of hours i was just was so like not myself and i had another coffee so i could film this video so if i seem like upbeat maybe that's why but yeah, sometimes coffee doesn't work and I don't know, I don't know what is up. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to wrap it up because I know there was a lot of information. I hope this is helpful to you. Again, check out Femhead and check out this book. I will leave a link to it down below, also to her channel down below. Also, if you have not fallen victim to my past videos, some of them are so cringy, I cannot go back and watch them because I just love myself and it's just so... <laughs> They're there for your consumption your help um, they've helped many people and they have a lot of views so I've kept them up but I wish I could take them down but uh, we're not doing that so everything will be down below thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you're having a magical day and I will see you in my next upload